visualizing your results could make it or break it for your analysis. This is why I want to show you how we can convert a boring pivot table like this one to something cool with icons like what you can see. So do you want to know the trick? What are we waiting for? We will apply the concept on some HR data. And here I want to transform this data set into an Excel table. It's like having a database. You will ask me, why are you doing this? Well, if you want to add data later on to this table, instead of having to change the source of your data in your pivot table, you can just right click and refresh it and everything will be incorporated automatically. So let's click inside, insert table, or you can use Ctrl T, that's the fancy shortcut. This is my data, I have headers, press OK, and let's call this data. Press Enter, perfect. Now let's add our pivot table, click inside, insert pivot table, this is the name of our table, existing worksheet, let's select a location, for example here, press enter, press enter, and we get the options. Let's put gender in the rows and salary in the values. First surprise, I'm getting the sum of salaries. The only thing I can do with this is cry that my company is paying too much in salaries, but what I want is actually the average. So just click here, value field setting, average, press OK, there we go. Now I have so many decimal places, I'm not Einstein, let's select all this, home, click on the comma and two times on decrease decimals. This is OK, let's right click here and add working schedule as a slicer. This is fine, it's OK, but it's not great visually. How do I improve this? Well, I'm gonna show you a couple of websites, explain to you what they do and you will see it's really nice. Now don't worry, the links to those websites will be in the description. So let's go here. The first website, if you noticed, it has a lot of emojis, icons, etc. And under each one you have a number. Now I took some of those numbers and I went back to our Excel sheet in this table. I put them here. The magic is if you type equal unicar and you put the value you will get exactly the same emoji or symbol that you saw on this website. So this is really cool. Let me just move this a little bit here so we can see it. Now, if you don't like those emojis, don't panic. You can go to the second website. You type something and you get other emojis. So you can just copy paste them. And here you don't need any formula. You just paste it like this. You use it like a text and you can just use it anywhere you want in your Excel sheet. Let me delete this and now we're going to use those symbols. So I'm going to add a couple more columns. Gender underscore icon and schedule underscore icon. The advantage of having a table is that now I added two columns, automatically they are in my table. So for gender, it's so simple, we're going to use a VLOOKUP. Equal VLOOKUP, open parenthesis. This is my M, comma, I need my table array, so it will be here, comma, third column, and then false for exact match. Press enter, you get the icons. Same for schedule. Is equal VLOOKUP, open parenthesis, part time is here, comma, same table, comma, three, comma, exact match, so false, press enter. Now that I have all this, I come back to my pivot table and what I can do is remove this gender and right click, you can right click before, doesn't matter, refresh, the magic happens, you get the gender icon and the schedule icon. So the gender icon I'm gonna put in the rows, that makes it much nicer, and for the schedule icon, right click, add a slicer. And this is my slicer. Let's just make it smaller, remove this one, I don't need it, and put this one on the side. Now let's make some cosmetic changes. This should be AVG salary, and here we can write gender, that's fine. Let's make this a bit smaller, this a bit smaller, and we just click on it, design, 
let's select a nicer design for example this one that starts to be good for the slicer i don't need the schedule icon right click slicer settings display headers bye bye press ok there we go now you can keep it on this side that's fine or you can have it on top if i want it on top slicer let's increase the number of columns so now we have the two columns here we can just put it on top if i select this one it will change the numbers and if i select this one same thing now this is still not nice we need some format so i can for example select a format from here or i can create my own you have new slicer style or you right click on this one duplicate so you start with this design and you make some changes i'm gonna change the whole slicer so i click on it format borders i don't want any border press ok press ok and now you will see if i click on my slicer and i go back here i select this new format no more borders this is much better the next thing i want to do is a bonus trick don't go away you're gonna love this copy paste our pivot table so let's put it here for example this is another copy of it so for this one i'm gonna remove the salary and i want the working schedule i don't want the gender icon so to the garbage there we go let's get rid of this grand total design grand totals of four rows and columns so now i get whatever is selected here i'm gonna use a helper column equal salary analysis dash double quotation and let's select the cell press enter now the magic happens when i insert a couple of shapes the first shape will be this one so that's my shape i can format it so no fill because i want it transparent and for the outline we're gonna select this one you can play with the format no problem let's have another one we're gonna put it here this time and what we're gonna do is format it again so we want no outline and we're gonna fill it in this color now after selecting the shape i can come here equal and select the cell press enter the magic happens i get whatever is here now a bit of formatting is required so we want white font there we go and we want smaller font so this is full time and if i select this one it becomes part time you cannot see the time here so we're gonna make it a bit smaller again there we go now you can use this as part of your dashboard and improve the visualization you don't have to have it in the same sheet you can have your pivot table in another one and all the analysis and the numbers behind in this sheet